We are proudly sponsored by Faraja. Settlers Limited, this is a company that we tell you that your property is our priority. And we have two projects. I've been mentioning uh, uh, the one in Gilgil. We are calling it uh, the Ranch Gilgil Gardens uh, in Nakuru County. There are 50 by 100 pieces of plot and there are just you know, very few plots remaining. So if you want to own this plot, it is a 50 by 100 in Gilgil. And from Gilgil town, it is just... Uh, around 11 kilometers uh, to the plots. If you want this plot, uh, all you have to do is come to our offices or you can call our number. And uh, remember the deposit of this uh, you know, plot is, is 10,000 Kenya shillings. And uh, if you want to pay in cash, you pay 230,000 Kenya shillings. And as I always say that you don't have to have the entire amount, the 230,000, you can just deposit 10,000, then clear the balance in an installment and we have a very very flexible payment plan whereby you can be able to choose either six months or an year and uh, the amount is 230 uh, it is inclusive of your title deed so deposit 10,000 clear the balance in an installment of your choice uh, so you can call the number on your screen 0705525252 and you will be able to get us uh, or you can visit our offices in uh, uh, Nairobi CBD, Ronan Gala Street, a building known as RNG Plaza, fifth floor, room number four. And of course, we also have another project we are calling it Konza Garden in Konza City. Uh, this is in Kajiado County, and uh, from Kitengela, it is just uh, like uh, around 11 kilometers to the plot. So they are 50 by 100 pieces of plot, and uh, this plot they are just nearby the uh, Konza SGR terminals. So it is a sign that this place is really growing. So guys, if you want to invest and you want a place that is developing, Konza Garden is the place because it is just one kilometer uh, to the SGR terminals of Konza. Uh, 50 by 100 piece of plot is going for 430,000 Kenya shillings, but you don't have to pay the entire amount. Imagine we have a very, very a flexible payment plan whereby you just need to deposit 10,000 only and then clear the balance in six months or an year and uh, that is a payment plan that you will choose so you can call us 07 uh, 05 and own Konza Gardens too because I always say that uh, you know we ensure that your property is our priority and uh, you know invest with us uh, because this is a Faraja Settlers Limited uh, a company of your choice. Now, uh, now after you know being sodomized by the <coughs> boys, and uh, the blood was taken and you were initiated. Yes. Uh, did you start recruiting? You know, uh, when you joined, uh, there was this like they told us the root son in every. Yeah, you have to bring in 10 new members. Every year, 10 new members. And after, so you bring in new members, you initiate them. And after the four years in high school, you commit suicide. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Every year, you have to recruit 10 members. Yes. Uh, where will you get those members? There are people are so hopeless in high school. Many people want to compete with each other. People want to be the center of attraction. People want to be feared. People want to be influential. People want to have money. So you will always find someone desperate in school. But 
you know you know 10 people it is a it is a it is a large group because if you are maybe 12 people in that gang every person recruiting 10 every year does that uh, I, I think that can lead to every 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 student in that school you know joining into that club there was no problem with the numbers because the mission was to get everyone in that was the mission to get everyone in that was the whole mission of the group yes were you able to recruit or like 10 people every year you know it was so easy for me because new monos were coming every year so i was initiated in form two uh now when now i moved to form three new monos came i include i initiate i recruited 10 of them i went to form four 10 of them they were coming to school and like they, they were come there were so many monos coming so to get 10 people is so easy 10 students is so easy yes what so every year you recruit um, you know monos 10 new members so monos if, so if you go to form three 10 form four 10, ten. and they are so easy to recruit because they are naive, they have fear, they want to have a place in, 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 in school, they want to be protected. So when you come to them, they are even interested, so much interested, but they don't know what will, what will happen. Mm -hmm. And now, at the end of Form 4, uh, you said that uh, you had to kill uh, four people and kill yourself. Yeah, when you when now in form four, you have to kill like some of your recruitment, like four of them. Why four? That was the rule. I don't know. That was the rule. You kill four of them and commit suicide. Why commit suicide? So you can go and live with Satan forever after. Wait. You cannot live with Satan when alive. Wait a minute. Now then why were you in school why you guys not have, having a future you wanted to live with satan that was the future that was the future what so alex uh you want to tell us that you have you 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 had to kill four students and then kill yourself yes that was the deal that was the deal. That was the deal. That that's how the the certain club operates. And now, uh, when 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 you are given those rules, and now come twenty twenty one, and you had to uh, to sacrifice, uh, you know, those four students and kill yourself. Why did you not do it? Because currently, it is twenty twenty three. You are still here, you are alive. What happened? I joined high school in 2016. Automatically, I was supposed to finish school by 2019. So when 2019 came, that was the year I was sacrificed. I was supposed to sacrifice some of my recruits for. We planned a party with my friends. Uh, we went somewhere to party. We, we, we went with like 10 people, 10 students, but when I tried to like kill, kill, kill one of them, like to start the sacrifice process, I couldn't do it. How, how, how had you planned to do it? To stab. With a knife? Yes. What, they, saw, they saw you doing that? I couldn't do it. So, what, what, did you go, when you went to, 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 to stab some, you know, one of the students, are you telling us that that student saw your face? No. They never saw my face. I couldn't carry myself to do it. Uh -huh. It's like, I have planned to kill you. I know I'm supposed to kill you. 
But when I try like to, to, to compose myself to come and kill you, it cannot happen. So you won't know I had a plan to kill you. But back in my mind, I know I'm supposed to kill you, but I cannot do it. I don't have the courage. That is not me. That's, that's why I couldn't finish school by 2019. I had to pretend I'm very sick. Okay. I, pre I had to pretend I'm very, very sick. Then 2020, COVID came. It saved me whenever I attended school. Then 2021, I went back to high school. Uh, but now, you, 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 you are saying that uh, you are supposed to finish school in 2019. Yes. From, you, you, you told me you joined in 2016. 2016. Finished in 2021. Yes. But you are supposed to finish in 2019. I was supposed to finish by 2019. From 2016 to 2019, it is four years. Yeah, that is four years. Yeah, 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 that is four years. Oh, so now when now 2019 came, you are saying that you could not, uh, you, you could not, uh, you know, kill. I couldn't because that wasn't me. I had done all the other worst things, sleeping with those men, but when it came like to kill him, I cannot kill. That is, killing someone is not easy. And now you had to pretend that you are sick. Very sick. And uh, I went back home. I couldn't even do the exam. I had to pretend like I'm totally, totally so sick. So that year, went. now 2020 came, COVID saved me. I went back to high school by 2021. When the exam time, I registered for the exam, but when the time came, because I know you cannot leave high school without sacrificing the four students, I tried the same trick I used in 20, 2019. It never worked. My parents, like, they, they kicked me out. Why? Because they, they couldn't, they, could, they knew I was pretending. You cannot do the same trick twice as perfect as you did it the first time. They knew this is something that I'm doing for me not to do the exam. But And all this time your parents have no idea what is going on? They have no idea. Because I go to school, I don't live with them, I'm in a boarding school. They see me when they came to visit like twice in a year. They don't know what is going on. So when you, when, you, when, you, when you leave school and you go home, you just go there pretending you are so sick, you have been so sick in school, the principal had to let you go home because the, you need to go and do what, what. So when you get home, you pretend you are so sick and the parents will buy the idea because they have not seen you before. They say, oh, he came back home, he's so sick. They buy that. But when I tried that trick in 2021, my parents, I don't know how they knew I was pretending. We, were, we had a back and forth. We argued and I was kicked out. Yes. And that's why I've not even, I've not finished like school. I've not yet done my Form 4 exam. And that is why you are still alive. Yes. Is it your wish, uh, because according to the rule of now the satanic club that you, you joined in high school, is it your wish to live with uh, Satan forever? I had that, that idea back in high school, but right now, the way, like, the way life is, I don't want it. And that means now you cannot do Form 4? I cannot do it. If I, if, I, if, if I want to do it, I have to kill. Now, um, because uh, you, 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 you said that there were other students that you joined that club uh, back in around 2017, uh, when you informed to, now, are they still alive? Some of them have died. 
some of them committed suicide, some of them were involved in accidents, I don't know. You just, you, several of them have died. So it is really true. It is happening. It's, it's not, I'm not telling you something that is not there. You know, when you tell someone a story like this, people think you saw it in a movie and you want to trend with it. You want to be in the limelight, you are coming in with something, you want to be to trend to her, you want to be known, you have this story. But let me tell you, things are happening. The devil is here, the devil is among us, he's doing it. You know, people, people think the world runs the way you think it runs. There's another world in this world that you don't know. There's another face of this world that you don't know, the dark side of the world. And when you join that dark side, when you tell people, they will never believe what you're telling them. So are you saying that uh, there are schools that have these things? Yes, and a normal person cannot understand that. People, when you, t when you try like, to tell someone this is happening to me, I can't sleep, I'm dreaming like I'm in school, I've dreamt being in school for like a year. You tell someone, Mimi water nikiwa shule, si patangi dreams zingine, people just like, uh, stop lying to us. How can you dream like you are, you are being in school for a whole year? That cannot happen, that is not real. They are trying to scare us. A normal person can never understand the other side. There are things they will never understand. But for me, because I know the other side, I know things are happening. And uh, what, what do you mean by, you know, being in, dreaming, being in school for one year? What I meant is, you dream, you are in school each and every day. When you sleep, you are having the same dream each and every day. Somebody can dream being in school every day for one year? Yes. That is what happening to me. But if I tell you that, you will think I'm crazy. What do you mean it is happening to you? It, happened, it has been happening to me for the last one year. So from uh, now 2022? Yes. Why? I feel haunted. And lately, like, I'm breathing. I've been breathing, like bleeding, like when I wake up, there's blood in my bed coming, coming throughout my butt. Damu inatoka ukunyuma. What? That's why I looked for you. Because it has been happening and I feel a lot of pain. I don't, I feel like someone is making out with me. I feel like someone is having sex with me. Wait, wait a minute. Are you saying that uh, you get blood? In my bed. Oh. How, how often? It has happened like four days in a week. What? Four days in a week. When I sleep, I wake up na pata damu kwa kitanda. And you feel so tired. I don't, I don't understand what is going on. Have you tried to seek maybe medical attention? I tried. And I had even to lie to the, to, 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 to the guy, and he, he, to, the, to the pharmacist, and he gave me some, some pills, and they couldn't work. What about, you know, you know we have uh, diseases that, uh, you know, when you get them, you can uh, bleed. I have no disease. It is happening and that's why I looked for you. I feel like when I sleep and in my sleep someone is having sex with me. And you wake up it feels so much pain and there's a lot of blood. How do you explain that? And it it has happened for the last 
almost a month, four days in a week. And when you take pills, it is not stopping and you have no disease. It is happening in a month or... It has happened, it's, it's almost now a month. Do you feel like maybe because you did not perform uh, according to the rules that you you are initiated because uh, you are you know the, those boys slept with you uh, and they initiated you with you know using the blood that came out of your uh, butt. Uh, do you feel maybe that could be the reason as to why you are bleeding? Yes, I feel like I have ties with them. There is something that is that is connecting me to them and I think it's the blood that initiated me. And I think I need to break that. And it, I want, I have to be delivered from that. Have you tried um, getting delivered? I have not yet tried. I've been watching your YouTube channel and I, and I know you are connected to these pastors. So I chose to, to like to come to you because you can get me help from here. But now, Alex, uh, what about your parents? Uh, you, do you communicate? We don't talk. We are, we are not in, in, in any way. We are not connected in any way. We are not talking. They have never looked for you? I don't know if they have looked for me. We don't communicate. There is no communication between us. From that day that you, 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 you were kicked out? I was kicked out and I was beaten at the same time. And you have not tried maybe going to them, telling them the truth? No. You don't feel like it is good to open up to your parents? I don't... I don't think they will ever understand me. It's better they hear it from here. Why? It's hard to open up to your parents, like tell them what you have been doing. They have been paying your school fees. How do you even come to that to tell them that? It's so hard. You know, um, you know a parent is a parent at the end of the day. And uh, if you need help, for me, the first thing that you need to do, and it is good to, uh, to, 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 to listen, even if you want to seek help, I am sure nobody can give you help without your parents being involved. Because, you know, you are still a young boy and uh, you have not even yet done your Form 4. You, I'm sure your parents would want a future for you. And uh, for you, you know, for somebody else to come in, even if it is a man of God, to deliver you, it is good your parents to know what has been happening so that they will not judge you by you know they you know they, as a parent it is they can get angry and uh, i'm sure they got angry because they don't know the reason as to why or what is really happening in your life if they knew what was happening in your life if they knew that you are initiated in in high school uh, in nakuru the school that they took you in Form 1, if they knew that was the beginning of your downfall, they would do anything to help you, Alex. And I'm sure that if, if, if they can come to understand what has been happening, that you are initiated to satanic uh, club in high school and you are supposed to kill four students then commit suicide, I'm sure no parent would take that for, you know, very, uh, you know lightly. They would take it as a matter of spiritual and they would do anything to help you so for me what i would suggest yes you have done well to come to this show uh, and it is good because you needed my help and yes i will help where i can but the first thing that we will do uh, it is to communicate to the parents so as for me what i can do i can call your mom, who do you want me to call, your mom or your dad? Call my mom, she's more understanding. I can call your mom, 
and uh, I can talk to her and I can explain to her what, you know, uh, has been happening and uh, we rebuild the connection between you and your parents. After that, then we will go to the next level where you will need to be delivered. With your mom involved, he will communicate to your dad. Maybe they have um, a man of God who can do that. If not, there are so many powerful men of God uh, who are indeed doing God's work and I'm sure they can help you. And now maybe before we conclude, you can tell us, uh, now this blood coming out, how much is it? It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. Mm. A lot and it's very painful when we wake up, you feel a lot of pain. And tired. And tired. So these people, they are sleeping with you at night? It's like in my dream. Mm. It is something you cannot understand. It is something you cannot open up to just anyone. Mm -hmm. Because people will, will judge you, people will laugh at you. Mm. Yes. It is sad. And now with you experiencing such things, what, uh, because of what you have gone through, men sleeping with you, have you identified uh, your sexual uh, or, you know, where do you stand? Do you love women? I feel attracted to women, but at the same time, I feel like I cannot go, like I cannot have something with a woman because I also have a lot of guilt and I also feel like she will know what I've been doing. Imagine sleeping with a woman and waking up with blood in your bed. You cannot do that. Mm. So it's, I need to clear this first so, so, I, so that I can know where to start from. But I have feelings for women. This is just a spirit and uh, I'm sure it will come to an end. And uh, as I've said, this is what we'll do. I will talk to your mom and uh, we will uh, know where to start, you know, in regards to deliverance. And you shall be well and you shall go back to school. You shall finish your form four and nothing will happen to you. And you will build your future. And this, all of it will be uh, past tense. Uh, maybe you can, be, as we come to the end, maybe you can tell us, what can you maybe say about, what can you tell students who are joining school? And what can you tell maybe parents? I feel like boarding schools, are, you need to choose and know the history of the school before you take your, your son or daughter to a school because the things that happen that are like happening right now in schools they are so dark and most of these students they cannot tell their parents what's going on so be before you take your son or daughter to a school first of all do your research what has been happening here don't just take your your your, your, your daughter or son to school just like that because some of these schools are so evil just do your research, know what has been happening there for, like, what has, what's the history of the school? Don't just, because your, your son or daughter has been, like, called to a school, you just take them there and leave them there without even knowing what's going on. You just pay the school fees and go home. Just do your research because boarding, some of these boarding schools are so dark. They are so dark and you don't, ex most of these Students, they don't have the courage to open up. Most of them are suffering and they cannot say it because they fear. Some of, like, a huge number of students, like, fear their parents. You cannot open up. You just die with your pain. Yes. Yeah, and uh, also 
parents pray for your kids when they go to school because uh, in these days and era there's a lot of things that are uh, happening and the devil has made his you know made it his business uh, to attack you know every corner of the world uh, may it be church may it be school family so it is good to pray 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 and i'm sure when you do that uh, the devil will have no place even in those school so uh, thank you alex for sharing these stories it is uh, such an eye opener to many students and to many parents who are watching us globally and uh, thank you also our viewers and if need uh, you know if need um, if we need if we need to have a, a, a you know a part three of this story i will show uh, surely follow it up and i will let you know when i communicate uh, with Alex's uh, mother and uh, the progress. So thank you so much. May God bless you for always tuning in to Kamunja Show. Till next time. Bye bye. We are proudly sponsored by Faraja Settlers Limited. This is a company that will tell you that your property is our priority. And we have two projects. I've been mentioning uh, uh, the one in Gilgil. We are calling it uh, the Ranch Gilgil Gardens. Uh, in Nakuru County. They are 50 by 100 pieces of plot and they are just, you know, very few plots remaining. So if you want to own this plot, it is a 50 by 100 in Gilgil and from Gilgil town it is just uh, around 11 kilometers uh, to the plots. If you want this plot, uh, all you have to do is come to our offices or you can call our number and uh, remember the deposit of this, uh, you know, plot it is 10,000 Kenya shillings and uh, if you want to pay in cash you pay 230,000 Kenya shillings and as I always say that you don't have to have the entire amount the 230,000 you can just deposit 10,000 then clear the balance in an installment and we have a very very flexible payment plan whereby you can be able to choose either six months or an year and uh, the amount is 230 uh, it is inclusive of your title deed so deposit 10,000, clear the balance in an installment of your choice. Uh, so you can call the number on your screen 0705-525252 and you will be able to get us uh, or you can visit our offices in uh, uh, Nairobi CBD, Ronan Gala Street, a building known as RNG Plaza, fifth floor room number four. And of course we also have another project, we are calling it Konza Garden in Konza City. Uh, this is in Kajiado County and uh, from Kitengela it is just uh, like uh, around 11 kilometers to the plot. So they are 50 by 100 pieces of plot and uh, this plot they are just nearby the uh, Konza SGR terminals. So it is a sign that this place is really growing. So guys if you want to invest and you want a place that is developing, Konza Garden is the place because it is just one kilometer. Uh, to the SGR terminals of Konza. Uh, 50 by 100 piece of plot is going for 430,000 Kenya shillings, but you don't have to pay the entire amount. Imagine we have a very, very uh, flexible payment plan whereby you just need to deposit 10,000 only and then clear the balance in six months or an year. And uh, that is a payment plan that you will choose. So you can call us 07 uh, 05 and own Konza Gardens too. Because I always say that, uh, you know, we ensure that your property is our priority. And, uh, you know, invest with us uh, because this is a Faraja Settlers Limited, uh, a company of your choice.